I want to address an issue, uh, and I was going to start this off with a joke by going blah, 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 my emotions, my fear, but then I thought, why would I joke? I know people like to say they, they like it when I joke around and smile and all that. Maybe people just say they like to see me smile. Maybe it's not so much about joking around. I want to talk about my... Matt, you left me this video and asked me if I'm afraid of the anger. And you know, yeah, I'm afraid of what I'm capable of. But I think I'm only afraid of it because I want to experience it. And I'm afraid that the anger would explode one day in a way that would be just devastating. And am I only afraid of that because I want it to happen? Maybe just you asking me this question and me saying this out loud has created this. Has created this desire to get angry and blow things up. I don't want to. I don't want to. And I'm not afraid that's going to happen. I guess as long as it stays emotional, as long as it's just anger, it's okay. You just don't take it to the next level of the physical. That's kind of why I like this internet stuff. It's because there's no threat of physical violence. It's just communicating thoughts. And if it's angry, it's angry. It's okay to get angry. But like you said, it is the, it's a response. And it's a response because it's, it's, you're not dealing with the problem. Anger management shouldn't be about how to learn how to control your anger. It's about talking about what you're not talking about. YouTube is anger management. YouTube is a place uh, where you're guaranteed to balance your own thoughts because people are always going to push up against whatever you say and are always going to tell you to chill if you're getting too extreme. Because nobody wants to see someone go over the edge. It's the people that isolate that go crazy. Why, why would you ban Warren? If you think he's nuts, let him stay on here. It doesn't make any sense. If you think someone's crazy, don't, don't isolate them. They're going to go insane, especially once they have a, had a taste of this. This is, this is how, I think, how we can balance our emotions. Um, I'm afraid of what I'm capable of. I'm afraid that I'll hurt people. And I will hurt people. Because that's life. Emotionally, I mean, not physically, but emotionally I'll hurt people. Because that's, how, that's communication. You, you don't hurt people, but you create a comfort level. And because you're so comfortable, it, the people around you then become comfortable and they get angry and they feel pain because they're forced to look at themselves. Because they're so comfortable. There's no external stimulus. You're not talking about theater. You're not talking about music. You're talking about emotion. And people are going to feel a lot of pain when you talk about emotion. And in order to do it, you have to, I guess, cause pain. I don't cause it. The people are experiencing their own. But it seems like I'm causing it because I have to, like Amanda will be crying and I just keep talking. Because if I stop, if someone starts to cry, our, our natural reaction is to stop. Like everyone on YouTube, they saw Amanda crying and it's like red flag. Everybody freaks out and says, no, Ian, stop, stop, stop. Please, you guys, stop. No, don't do this. No. Fuck that shit. She was crying because she's feeling pain or doesn't want to feel the pain. It's a defense mechanism. If I stop, it'll go back to where it was before she started crying. But if I continue through, I can get to her. I can communicate with her. I can get through this bullshit defense mechanism of crying. It's what she's done her whole life. It's why no one presses the issue with her and why people take think that she can't handle it. People, Her friends are telling her to leave me because they think she can't handle it. They think it's going to push her over the edge. They think that she can't handle this relationship. And why else would you tell someone to leave a relationship? Because you think that they can't handle it. Because you think they're better off away from it. Truth is, she can handle it. She can handle anything that she wants to handle. And so can I. And I want to handle this, so I'm going to. She came back today for a couple hours. 
and we talked for a long time, then we had this crazy sex. It had been building for days and days, and we communicated really well. I don't know, I've been thinking a lot about anger, and maybe it's not such a bad thing. It's just not healthy. It doesn't make you feel good. It makes you feel nasty. But it shakes you up. It shakes me up. Um, I suppose that's all for now. I really got to go to bed. I got to work in the morning. And I just keep staying up. It's almost 3 a.m. Right now. All right, Matt. Next time you respond and you don't get a response, don't freak out. Just relax. People can't always respond. We, to have expectations is no good. If we live expecting people to respond to us, we're never going to be satisfied because we're never going to get what we expected. It's just speak, and if someone doesn't respond, speak again. And if they don't respond, speak again. Don't take it personally. Just continue. I find that people that leave like three or four video responses to me, I'm incredibly interested in getting to know them, more interested in getting to know them because it's like they don't take it personally. They they want to just they just want to communicate. It's not about like justification or anything like that. All right, I'll see you later.